the Target 12 investigators are working new details in a story that was first breaking live at 5. Jurors have found a Boston man guilty in a federal terror case with Rhode Island ties. And just a few hours ago, David Wright was convicted on five counts, accused of conspiring to help terror group ISIS and devise a plan to behead a conservative blogger. This case involved a Warwick man who was already pleaded guilty. Let's get right to Target 12 investigator Tim White, who has been tracking this case from day one. Tim. Today, after nearly nine hours of deliberations over two days, a jury decided David Wright was guilty on all counts, including conspiracy to commit acts of terrorism. In June 2015, Aspenet Drive in Warwick was swarming with state and federal authorities, part of an investigation into a stunning terror plot that investigators say was organized by three men. Prosecutors say David Wright of Everett, Massachusetts, plotted to behead conservative blogger Pamela Geller. The plot was never carried out. They say Wright worked with Nicholas Ravinsky of Warwick and Wright's uncle, who was shot and killed by police. Mr. Wright is a terrorist an ISIS supporter and recruiter who intended to wage war against the United States by beheading people and killing Americans. Last year, Ravinsky pleaded guilty to three counts of conspiracy and agreed to testify against Wright at trial. In his last phone call with his uncle, Wright encouraged his uncle to carry out his plan to behead the boys in blue, a reference to law enforcement officers. Defense attorneys for Wright say he never helped ISIS and had no serious intentions to hurt anyone. Both Wright and Ravinsky will be sentenced in December. Wright faces a potential punishment of life behind bars. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, Eyewitness News.